Hi all, it's Alan Vukas, and today's Monday, March 5th, and in just one moment, I'll share with you today's uh, Oracle card that I drew to answer the question, what do we need to know today in order to be in alignment with our highest good? Before I do that though, let me just tell you a little bit about me and, and why is it that I do this. As I mentioned, my name's Alan Vukas. I live in Colorado, and over the past 12 months, I have had some powerful experiences um, in using Oracle cards and the tarot to access my intuition. Over Throughout my entire life, I've always considered myself an intuitive person, but what I have realized over the past 12 months through experiences and, and through um, life happening, I realized that I really wasn't listening to it. I really wasn't taking the time to access my intuition and to listen to my own inner guidance. And, and over this period of um, 12 months, what I've come to realize is that when we use and access our intuition and allow that to inform our intentions and thereby take action, um, then we can be assured that we are moving in the direction of living our authentic life, that we're truly living from the inside out. And I'm passionate about that. And that's why I do these videos. So every day, as I mentioned, um, I ask myself the question, um, what do I need to know? I take time every day, but what do I need to know today, this 24-hour period, to be in alignment with my highest good? And I am using today the Oracle card deck by Denise Lynn, Sacred Traveler. I love these cards. And uh, I drew a card from that. And let me um, share that with you and then tell you a little bit about what uh, message came up for me specifically. So the, the card that I drew today is Wandering Path. And then it says, enjoy your journey. And let me put my glasses on so that I can actually see the journey. <laughs> and then there you see on the card, there is this fox. And a fox who's looking at the map. And there's a map on this stump. And then he sees where X marks the spot. And behind him, there is, there is a path leading off into the distance. And actually, we just see, we don't see all the where it ends. But the fox does have a map enjoy the journey. So let's take a look at what Denise Lynn writes about this in her book and, um, and how that can apply to our daily life today for this 24-hour period. So wandering path, enjoy the journey. The card meaning is you don't always need to know where you're going, except the fact that sometimes the path in life is circu circuitous and meandering. Yet know that you're always exactly where you need to be, even if it doesn't seem like it. Be present with your journey. Embrace everything that you encounter on the path. It's all for your highest good. Accept what is. This is the key to inner power. And then she writes a little further as it more um, and a, a, a way this can apply to our lives, not just the meaning, but the sacred traveler wants you to know when you're traveling, you are in the present moment. A mystic traveler has no specific goals for the future and is not focused upon the destination. Everything is fresh and new. At times it's difficult to accept everything that occurs on the road of life, especially if the road seems to twist and turn in unexpected ways. It's an act of courage and faith to accept what is, without judgment or dismay and to keep going. Trust that there is a plan for your life and it's unfolding perfectly. Have faith that you're on the road that you're meant to travel on. Accepting what is doesn't mean that you can't work to change it because you can. However, this card does suggest that every experience is supporting you for your highest good and your spiritual evolution. If there's something you can't accept, start by gently accepting the fact that you can't accept it. Allowing for your own wandering path is the key to grace and peace in your life. Wandering path, accepting what is, enjoying the journey. That's the key to, to grace and peace today. And so today, as we are um, embarking on our journey, as we are going through our day, as we are doing what shows up for us to do, today isn't a day about being focused on, on our, our, the final destination, but truly to be present to the journey that we're on, to be present to what's here right in front of us. As, as it said in the book, 
that when we are on our path, when we are moving forward, when we are taking our journey, that we're, we're in the present moment. So today is a reminder to not spend time in the future or in the past and then try to manipulate the present, but to be present what's right here in front of you, trusting that you're not on this journey alone, that spirit is guiding you, and that what is, and you've heard me say this before, but what is is the means by which your good is working out. What is here today, what shows up today, is a channel by which Spirit is flowing grace and peace into your life if you allow it to show up in your life that way. Rather than resisting it because it doesn't look like the way it's supposed to, I have a map and this is not, this is not the journey. We're on a detour. Somehow we've taken a wrong turn. No, today you're exactly where you need to be. Be present to that. Be present. That today is not about the destination, but it's about the journey. And today, enjoy the journey as you are on a wandering path today, and you're not alone. Enjoy those who are on that path with you today as well. So I'm holding this space for you today. I'm knowing the highest and best for you, and I look forward to seeing you in an upcoming video. Peace and love. Namaste.